Hello, Libra. Welcome to my channel, Frankie's Tarot. This is Frankie, and this is your tarot reading. We're going to take a look at the next seven days or so. This is a very good time right now, the luckiest time of the year. So I'm going to take a look at the energies around you, what spirit wants you to know when it comes to manifesting, um, if those of you are on the journey of manifesting. I'm going to take a look at what is manifesting for you, what you might not see coming. Uh, you know, always I look at love. And for those of you new to my channel, I do Aries through Pisces. So I look at you and each zodiac sign at the end and see what might be manifesting if you're manifesting in a specific person. Um, I look at each and every zodiac sign for you. All right. So let's get a look at my Libras. I got interrupted during your last read. I've had a really good reading for you. And I was interrupted, so I, I had to completely stop. Um, and you just have a really good energy this week. And let's see if it comes out again uh, with this new reading. But there was a lot about finding, of course, balance this week. And uh, going with the flow this week was for you. All right, go wild. You have another Leo energy. Release your blocks, Scorpio energy. And... Um, Believe in your good luck, Sagittarius energy. So, yeah, this is the same thing. Trust the universe. All right. So, good, 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 good. All right. So, I was kind of upset when the reading got cut. I was like, oh, because I don't like the flow to stop and then to come back. So, you have an awesome energy this week. This manifests an energy. Um, it feels like there's a Leo, this strong. Some of you could have Leo in your, in your um, strong Leo placements. Um, Scorpio, releasing your blocks and, and setting it. So you, you, it's about releasing any kind of um, negative thought you might have about something or someone this week. Any doubts that are coming up for you right now, this is a good time for you to go, I, no, I'm done with that. I've got to believe in my good luck here. Um, you are very lucky, a very lucky sign that's coming in for me. And it's about trusting the universe this week. You, For those of you who are um, deliberate manifestors and use, you know, astrology and tarot as ways to see where you're at and see what's coming for you, you'll understand what I'm talking about a lot more than some of you that don't really, you know, manifest. But this is a week, if you set your intentions on the new moon in Taurus, you know, this is a time period right now where doubt might come up for you and you may be seeing things that just, it just seems like everything might be working against you. Like, wait a minute, I thought this is a lucky time and all of a sudden this isn't working, that isn't working. And, and it's like, but that doesn't mean that it's not working. So these doubts, it's the universe is really, cat it's really kind of pushing you. you know, this is what I need you to do. This is where just trust me that I'm getting all the pieces together. It will, it, you'll see it blossom by the full moon and then even further out in the, over the next six months. Um, so this is the time for you to go wild and just have a little bit of fun and release the worry to the universe and trust the process because you have trust the universe here. The universe is working for you, divinely working for you. Let's see what other themes might be manifesting for you this week, and then we'll pull some tarot. You have strong influence of Aquarius, Sag, Scorpio, and Leo. All right. Um, could have people with those signs around you, very strong influence around you as well, too. That would be this week. Ooh, you, and look at this kindred partnership, as I was saying that. So you have a very special person around you this week. Very special person around you this week. All right. You have somebody in your life. Maybe you already know who this person is. And um, and just trust the universe. Trust all will be well. Right? There could be a little conflict you've been dealing with with somebody. And there'll be some sort of resolution. So release your fears around that. There may even be a, a very special new person that's showing up in your life this week that you that comes out of nowhere. For those of you that are manifesting in love into your life and you just are like, you know, I love hearing from people. Oh, it's I, I don't see it anywhere. It's never going to happen. You know, blah, blah, blah. You don't, you never, you've never known when it was going to happen in the past either. If you did, you'd be a millionaire. You'd be psychic. You'd know exactly, um, you know, everything that's happened in our life happened when we least expected it. Optimism. Look at this with the believe in the good luck. You've got so much of this beautiful energy around you. 
uh, staying positive and staying optimistic um, this week is going to be very important for you to pull through. When you find yourself going bloop down a little bit in the dumps with Scorpio energy, go bloop, come back up with Leo energy. All right. You know, it's I love both signs, Scorpio. I'm Scorpio. You know, we get into these fears and these doubts. This is going to be a week. Um, very. This is like a hell yes to me. That kind of gives me the energy of a sun, the sun energy. I see new, new supportive connections coming in for my Libra and I see a lot around family. So you may be having a good week, something manifesting, something good manifesting with family. You might receive some sort of good news from family this week. Um, you might be starting a family, you might be meeting this new partner that could end up being, you know, a new addition to your family. You have new supportive connections coming in for you. So whatever you've been manifesting in, pay attention to the people that are showing up in your life because the people um, that are in your life right now, these new people are could be the foundation over the next six months for something serious in your life. Um, you know, career rise career-wise or um, obviously family-wise, you know, that's showing up for you as well. So let's take a look at you. I like this for my Libras. It seems like, you know, um, I want to say without sounding like I know exactly what I'm, like I, I'm an expert, because I'm not, but with all the work doing with the Libra self mood, Aries North mood, maybe there's been a lot of clearing, releasing blocks around relationships, and now it feels like, Wow, I've got some healthy, I've made room for healthy relationships to come in. There's that four of wands for you in your position. So there's a, a special event coming in, a special event coming up, a reunion that's that's building roots here, a milestone in your life with the four of wands. So this to me is like one of the happiest besides the sun card, which is represented here. It's it seems to me one of the happiest cards where you finally feel this these, this joy, this happiness, because you have good supportive people around you. You feel good. You feel like you're building something. You feel like you're being supported with, you know, as with your, every step you're taking. So you're reaching some sort of milestone this next seven days or so and seeing that this play out for you. So trust the process, Libra, if you've been manifesting something big into your life that, you know, sometimes it does show up like a big fat whammy, like here it is. And then sometimes you meet somebody and you're like, oh, hey, you're kind of cool. And then this person following week calls you up and says, hey, you know, I, you said something last week that kind of triggered me into thinking you might be perfect for this part or you might be you might be perfect for this person or, you know, this job position you don't know how the universe is going to bring in spirit guides into your life. I have the two of swords covering you. This was coming up in my last reading for you, where it was like, you know, wanting to make a decision, not sure, uncertainty. You know, what do I do? I need to make plans. I need to go. I need. I feel this urge. I need to do something. I need something to happen. And right now, this is where it's about lightening up, going wild, having fun, and saying, you know what? I'm going to trust that the universe is going to decide for me because the universe is pushing you faster than you can. You don't have to decide 100% what to do right now. Just stay in the moment. Stay in the moment and keep taking it one step at a time and see um, that was the other thing. I had Gemini energy for you. And, you know, this was about Gemini's like to if they they like children, if they are in a situation and they don't like it. Uh, nope, they're gone. They get bored. They, they're gone. They go to the next. Right. They don't stay somewhere where they don't want to. They're very adaptable. They connect and, and talk with everybody. And that's kind of the week that I feel like my Libras. Follow the flow. Stay in the, in the in the flow of your situation and see where you're being guided to. I have the ten of swords. So some of you recently have let go of some serious um, energy, right? The ten of swords can be. I, I feel like I, I hear you know, and who's a Libra saying her house twelve placements, right? Um, it's almost like you know, letting go of a lot of pain, letting go of some past stuff, letting go of uh, you've been you've released a lot in the past, all right. So you are now stepping up and moving forward. So some of you, this two of swords can be, all right. I know something. I'm I've done the work. I'm doing the work. I've moved on. I've healed. You know the. The Ten of Swords can also be like the Ace of Swords, right? I've had this breakthrough. I'm healing. And now what's next? 
right? And then we have the Knight of Wands. So we're seeing this very strong, fiery, passionate energy. I do have a Scorpio energy for you showing up strong. You have, this is water energy. So it can be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, somebody with these qualities. For those of you that don't need the sign, it's just somebody very mature, somebody very emotionally deep, somebody um, serious, stepping up, uh, coming towards you, very influential person. So it could be a very deep connection. You have the Knight of Wands showing a lot of passion, a lot of drive. So you may, um, around uh, the next seven days or so, start feeling a little bit more focused and having this energy like, oh, wow, I have a direction now. I really want to use this. Right? This is an energy of ambition. This is an energy of being driven, right, and knowing now where you're going. So for those of you, it seems as though the, the process of this energy is, this reading is, you are going to start meeting people this week that are going to help clarify what where you're going next. This is building of this foundation and this reunion um, and being focused on being excited, being a lot of passion here towards the end of the week. The Knight of Wands can be an Aries Leo Sag too. It could be a date. It could be something exciting, a fun excursion, anything like that coming your way. So let's see Aries through Pisces with that being said. And let's see the energy they're showing up in and see whatever spirit wants you to know about this sign. If you are manifesting an SP, these cards will tell me um, a little bit about any action or movement that's happening. Um, sometimes it'll show that you're manifesting in a brand new person. Um, but we'll see. Aries through Pisces. For the majority of you, it shows that you could be manifesting in a Leo, Scorpio, Sag, Aquarius. Very special person. Aries, Nine of Swords. You got Aries really, really dealing with some pain. All right. They might be feeling like they regret or feeling guilty, all right? The Knight of Pentacles and you, the Ace of Cups. You got an Aries, all right, on the verge of um, coming towards you. It's moving slowly with the Knight of Pentacles, but the Ace of Cups, you may expect to receive some messages from an Aries here soon, all right? It looks like a new beginning. They are working towards it. They feel guilty about something. Taurus, the King of Pentacles, the Devil card, and the Ten of Pentacles. All right, so it looks like a Taurus here is dealing with releasing an ex. All right, you're the Ten of Pentacles. It looks like they want to be together with you, but they are in the process of releasing some sort of something toxic or some something um, or an ex or a situation, a karmic situation, which is holding them back. Gemini, Knight of Wands. There, you heard me talking about Gemini. So some of you got real strong Gemini energy, Gemini, Gemini placement. Gemini in your life, Gemini kindred spirit, all right, Knight of Wands, the star card, all right, and you, the Six of Pentacles, get ready for an offer from a Gemini. Cancer, Two of Cups, Eight of Wands, the Strength card, are you got a Cancer are so attracted to you, coming in pretty quickly with messages, Eight of Wands, very attracted to you, a lot of communication going back and forth, um, Two of Cups, a relationship is in is brewing with you and a cancer very strong bond leo eight of swords the page of pentacles the seven of wands all right you're feeling pretty guarded with a leo you're feeling like you need to speak up and say something seems as though a leo is very stressed eight of swords may have said something may have been very toxic negative energy but it looks as though they're coming towards you with some sort of compromise or, or apology virgo nine of wands Seems like you um, wanted to say one more thing. It seems like you pushed a Leo away or blocked a Leo. Um, Virgo, three of wands and you, the nine of cups. Uh, you got a Virgo that's not going to give up on you, Libra. They're going through some sort of setback in their life, all right? They're worn out, but the three of wands shows them wanting to grow with you, expand the nine of cups. You know, you're manifesting them in. They, they, they desire you. Libra, the hanged man, so you feel like you're in limbo, all right? The five of pentacles, feeling like things aren't working out the way you want them to, and you're the three of swords, all right? So give another Libra a little bit of time. It seems as though you're both kind of in limbo, both kind of not dealing well with if there's a separation. It's not, it's not, it's very hard on both of you. 
Um, your Libra seems to be taking a pause here so that they can see things differently. It's a little bit of a waiting period, but I wouldn't give up on a Libra. Scorpio, King of Cups. There it is. So you got a strong Scorpio in your life. Uh, the Judgment card and you, the World card. So you see a major chapter happening here with you and a Scorpio. You could have a Scorpio who's your kindred spirit. All right. Um, seems as though major placement here for somebody who's going to be very, play a very important part in your life. Um, Sagittarius, the Six of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. All right, I see that you're you're calling a Sagin. All right, very playful energy. Uh, but you guys are very attracted to each other. They're very attracted to you. The Seven of Pentacles. The same. Be patient. Um, you'll be making plans here in the future here with Sag. Capricorn, King of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Two of Swords. So you're feeling uncertain about a Capricorn. Um, something happened in the past with a Capricorn, but it seems as though they, they're going to step up. Uh, they are the King of Wands. Um, but I would trust the universe with this Capricorn, right? There's some healing here that needs to happen. Uh, they feel pretty bad about what's happened. And I, the Two of Swords is showing up with you, which was showing up here. It shows there could be a reconciliation with the Capricorn. Um, Aquarius, Four of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. So Aquarius being stubborn, but they're not letting go of you. Ace of Pentacles, a fresh start. Expect some messages from Aquarius. You are manifesting in a message. Pisces, the Lover's card, the Empress card, and the Ace of Swords. Score with the Pisces. I had a breakthrough with a Pisces. You've got clear communication coming in. You've got unconditional love. And you've got, you know, you've planted the seeds to that Empress card. And you have a love affair coming in with the Pisces. So I'm going to go with, it could be a water sign that you're meant to be with. Your next love, your next relationship. You're meant to be with the water sign. Because uh, water is really playing out strong. Or Gemini. And, and you have Sagittarius here as well. Ten of Cups, there's your blessing, there's your wish fulfillment. Ten of Cups, being together. I love you guys. If you enjoyed this reading, please let me know in the comments, um, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.